I'm Doug Turnbull. This video and the enclosed handbook will give you basic information for metal preparation, including disassembly, screw repair, polishing, and various finishes. We will also explain the differences between refinishing and restoration. But the most important piece of advice is to take your time and follow all the steps set in this video. Whether your firearm is a tool for hunting, a family heirloom, or a rare collector's piece, you want to conserve its original condition to guard its value and preserve it for future generations. But sometimes, due to neglect or accidental exposure to the elements or other mishap, a firearm falls into disrepair. How can you restore it to its original condition or to as good a condition as possible? Well, much of the work you may need to have done will probably have to be performed by skilled craftsmen, highly trained and experienced in the field of firearm restoration, such as the professionals at Doug Turnbull Restoration. However, there may be much you can do to prepare your firearm for refinishing or restoration, saving you money and giving you the personal satisfaction of doing the work yourself. Refinishing a firearm usually means polishing wood and metal surfaces, then applying correct finishes. Restoration is the process of returning a firearm to original condition. The look a firearm has is a combination of reflection on polished and matte surfaces, subtle color differences in finish, how screw heads look and fit, the quality of wood, checkering, and engraving, all working together to make that firearm as unique today as when it left the factory. Restoration takes a firearm to this degree of detail, and in order to get this detail correct, you need to study good original condition firearms from the same era. The final grit used to polish and the direction of polish may vary considerably from year to year, even on the same firearm. An example of this is illustrated in Clausen's book on the 1911 45 caliber auto. Models manufactured in 1912 had a highly polished finish, up to 600 grit. In 1918, the auto had a coarser finish, closer to a 120 grit. The polish direction is also different on many of the parts. Polishing either incorrectly would ruin its appearance and value. In order to do quality restoration and preserve the look of your firearm, you need to study books, look at good original examples, and have an understanding how the polished parts will look with the finish applied. The secret of refinishing and restoration begins with a metal preparation. You would not want to polish a set of double barrels to 600 grit because they would not have the proper look of an original set. Know as much as possible about your firearm before beginning. Wait, can your firearm be restored? You need to assess how bad the damage is before beginning. Here is a Colt Lightning and it's in very poor shape. It's been neglected because of its age, the abuse that it's been through, the parts missing, uh, the cost of replacing parts, and just finding parts. Unless it's a family heirloom or of great personal interest, it would really be best to leave this gun as a parts gun, set it in a corner, tell lies about it. Remember, every firearm will have a different set of parts and polishing directions. We suggest you have your local gunsmith evaluate your firearm and answer any questions you have before you begin. Also, if your firearm is very ornate or heavily engraved, it may be best to let the experts do all the work, including the preparation, rather than risk the artistic integrity of your firearm. Basic steps and techniques outlined here provide an overview of finish removal and metal preparation. Every firearm is different and will require special care in removing the finish and polishing parts. Be sure to work carefully and anytime you're unsure of what to do next, stop and ask a professional gunsmith for help. In part one of this video, you'll see an overview of tools and tips to help you get started. Part two looks at screwdrivers and screws from bits to head repair. Part three, a basic overview of disassembly with some helpful tips. Part four, polishing, shows polishing basics, tips and techniques for a variety of barrel and action styles. And packing your firearm for shipping is covered in part five. 